I've had another generous donation, really a set of donations, you'll see the rest at some point in time, by one Robert Gwizdala. And you can actually go to a YouTube channel of the same name and see, I guess, some of the same equipment also be running there. So thank you so much, Robert, for these generous donations. And this is the first round of them. That is the first three of some more to come. So, these are um, pieces of equipment that I don't have well, until now. And everybody, of course, needs to have their Koblenz, and I'll, I'll read what it says on the top of the box, a Lava Pisos. So, don't know what a... Um, don't know what a lava pisos is that would be a shampoo polisher so how about we open this one first let's check out this wonderful lava pisos powerful 4.2 amp motor shampoos scrubs buffs polishes and waxes. Now what's interesting is um, a long time ago my mother had one of these. Uh, not a Kovalens brand. I'm talking about yeah, I can't re I can't really remember um, what the brand was offhand. It might have been something like General Electric or whatever it was. I, I really don't remember. I remember what it looked like and what it sounded like, but I think it was from the late 1940s. And I'm going to need something else to get those off. Got big staples in there. Should have come a little, a little more prepared for this unboxing video. And she used this on her floors regularly. Had a nice, pleasant sound. Had the two counter-rotating brushes. And um, I think it might have even been her mother's. Like I said, I, I believe it was from the late 1940s. And she used it for many, many decades. So I have not used one of these things or seen one of these things uh, personally close up for, for many, many years. So this ought to be, this ought to be very interesting. And, of course, I can't wait to try it out. Okay, what do we have here? The Koblenz manual and some, some parts in there. And, let's see, it comes with, oh, lots of shampoo. Let's see, this is carpet and fabric shampoo. And then this is heavy duty cleaner. And then this is neutral cleaner. And we have we have parts. We have some parts. So this looks like some kind of a part of a handle there. And here's the base of the machine. Let's see. This is cardboard. And this thing almost holds, I think, close to a gallon of solution and, and water in there. It's a, that's a lot. Well, that, that's big. Look at that. Three in one machine. Let's see, shampoos, carpets, scrubs. Scrubs hard surfaces, and I'm reading this upside down, polishes, hardwood, and laminated floors. Very interesting. And, ooh, the brushes. They're big. Lots and lots of brushes here. <laughs> and they easily stick together. Boy. So you want to store your brushes just... Kind of smash them together and maybe they'll stick. This says scrubber for hard floors. 
That, that's pretty stiff. Yeah, that's actually pretty stiff. Don't want to use that on carpet, I guess. And then there's a couple more brushes here. Oh, they're much softer. And it says uh, only for rug shampooing. And the bristles are much, much softer. So I imagine... Oh yeah, this is, this is easy. I guess you could also do it by hand. There you go. Okay, so that's great. And see these right here. Yeah, these don't, these will actually just move the whole carpet. It won't scrub it, it'll, it'll just move it. And, uh, all right, that does it for that. Uh, let's see. Pads, there's some pads came out here. These are, these are pretty rough. This side is softer than that side. This, this side's uh, really rough. This side's like medium rough. And then these are super soft. Yep. This is what's going to go on your surface here. Obviously this would stick on the pads in there. Okay. Oh, the base of the machine. All right, here's the business end. And uh, let's see. Just pulls out. Okay. You know, I have my uh, over 20 year old Hoover scrubber. And I wonder how well this can do up against it, although obviously this is not a water extractor, to be sure. I'll just stick something on here just for something to do. There, just to give it some height off the floor, off the carpet a little bit. And let's see, cord. They just kind of wound this up a bit. How do they wind this up? Looks like it's got a speed control here. Uh, one, two, and three.
you have a bunch of pads you can put on here and if I wanted to put them on like that and I've got these little retaining clips so they don't go fly it off that's what you got hey how about we run it just in the air let's see what it sounds like position one Position two. And I'll take these off. You can see position three. Can't wait to actually try it out on some of my flooring and see just how well it scrubs. Thanks again to Robert Wisdala. 1100 RPM brushes, that's going to be on maximum speed, and a 4.2 amp motor, that would also be on maximum speed, but it doesn't say whether or not it's loaded or unloaded. So let's test these two things. check motor current draw. Here's low power. Medium power. And high power. Well, obviously we didn't see anywhere near, say, 4.2 amps or, say, 500 watts or something. However, uh, this scrubber is meant to be used on something that provides significant resistance, like, say, you know, a carpet, various other flooring. And I imagine when you do that, that the uh, power usage will probably go up.